Ah, to be young and gullible. Such good times. Such good times. You know, whenever the great Malenko came out back in the mid-1990s, I actually liked ICP for a hot minute or two. I actually thought that this album was actually kind of good. There were certain elements to it that you really didn't see a lot in modern hip-hop. I mean, first off, the fact that it was two white guys that were dressed up as clowns deciding that they were going to rap about, well, broken homes, drugs, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it was something new. It wasn't exactly gangster rap. It wasn't exactly what you heard. It wasn't the softcore R&B that practically made you think of something pornographic every single time you listened to it. So, I mean, hey, I can understand the allure. And to be honest, ICP is one of those self-made success stories that you really can't ignore anyways. I mean, these are just two guys from Detroit that decided that they were going to become big rap stars. They were going to promote themselves in every way possible, in every way feasible, any way that they could with the money that they had. They were going to release records, they were going to have their own wrestling federation, they were going to do tours, they were going to do videos, there's going to be merchandise, there's going to be all sorts of crazy shit. To be down with the clown was going to be the big thing. In fact, they even put that in some of their albums in such a rare form as there were five cards or whatever it was. In each and every album that you got, you collected one of the cards that was supposed to tell some mystical message uh, of the apocalypse or of the new millennium. I don't know what the hell it was, because quite frankly, the only one I had was the one from the Great Malenko, and that wasn't even mine. So I'm going to be blunt with you guys. As far as ICP is concerned... They're just not for me. Really. That's all there is to it. This is just a band that I can't get into. This is a group I can't get into. Two individuals that... You heard the great Malenko. That was kind of the crest of their career. Everything else to me is just... Overdone, overboiled crap. It's almost as though they had their two minutes of fame in my eyes. And that was that. Chalked it off to just being another dumb, gullible kid. Which is fine by me. Because maybe I'm a dumb, gullible adult now. Either way. What this review is actually going to speak about is the one thing that is a disease. The one thing that actually does make me angry. The one thing that actually makes a lot of people angry, and that's the fans. Yeah. I'm sure that you Juggalos are more than tired of hearing about this. So, I understand if you just click off the video right now. That's fine. That's cool. In fact, I fully expect two things. One, I expect most of you won't turn off this video, and two, I expect death threats in the comments, or in my channel comments. Yeah, I know it's coming, so I might as well just get on with it. Juggalos are, of course, the fans of the Insane Clown Posse, or ICP, or the Psychopathic Record family, whether it be fans of Twisted, Blaze Your Dead Homie, Mike C. Clark, whatever it may be. And to be perfectly honest, there's two different types of Juggalo, in my personal opinion. The first type is actually something that I ignored. Yeah, a, a little bit ago, I actually released a couple of uh, videos under another account uh, that spoke about ICP in quite the negative light. Well, the first type I'm going to discuss today are the good people. There are actually good jugglers out there. I know. A lot of you are probably looking at me like, really? Are you serious? Well, yeah. There are jugglers that have served our country. There are jugglers that are good uh, individuals. They've actually done something with themselves, done something for society. They just like the band, they like the, the group, they like ICP and the psychopathic family for the music. It's something where they don't embrace the lifestyle, so to speak. However, they consider themselves juggalos because, well, they enjoy the stuff. They enjoy the work. And for that, I have respect. That's called fandom. That's the correct thing. And now it's time to move out of the light into the darker side. The second type. I think it's only right that we speak about these groups in the dark. The second type of juggalo is the fan that takes everything way too seriously. They actually believe that this is a lifestyle that they should actually thrive and hope to, hope to be a part of for the remainder of their existence. These are the types of people that want to have ICP-themed weddings or funerals. And let me tell you, you guys have a glimmering and blistering example of exactly what this is all about in the form of Juggalo Jenny. Yeah. Juggalo Jenny, not to mention with the little ninja that was killed, the baby that she said that she didn't even know that she had because she smoked and did drugs and did this and did that, lived the lifestyle, and then whenever her baby didn't make it, she had an ICP-themed funeral where it looked like the casket was more like a, 
uh, on one of those little carrying containers, a Coors Light, there was the ICP logo was just everywhere. It was a rampant disease. It's something that you don't need. And the thing is, people could actually argue that it's much like the fandom that the fans of KISS have, where they'll have KISS caskets and KISS weddings. They'll do things in the makeup for KISS and all that stuff, and those KISS conventions, KISS Con or whatever, I, I don't know. But uh, I, I think that with ICP, it's kind of reached a new level of retardation, in my personal opinion, because these are the people that you can tell that they're coming a mile away. Do they like this? I don't know, but... It's really, really kind of disgusting. You can really tell. They're usually very beat-looking. And I mean beat. These are girls that nobody in their right mind would hit up unless they were another guy that was a juggalo, that is missing teeth, that couldn't get laid with a 10 that he wanted, so he figured, hey, how about I go through a couple twos in my life and eventually it'll all add up. Juggalo Jenny, of course, then opted that to start a website and call into one of the ICP members' personal radio shows to ask for money to help pay for funeral costs. Yeah. You heard me right. She wanted the Juggalo family to pay the funeral costs for her dumbass mistake for drinking, smoking, taking pills, doing crack, doing whatever the fuck she did, being fat, I don't know. For whatever she did, she wanted help from them. She didn't want to incur it themselves, or herself, she wanted the whole family, because we's a family, we's a family, we's the juggalo family. Now, this is why I have to say, this is why this ICP review hasn't been completely blistering. They laughed at her. They laughed right in her face. And that's where my respect is. My respect isn't the fact that I like the music, no. My respect is that the individuals themselves, well, they're in some shit, they're in some stupid shit. But whenever it comes down to it, they're not buying into this completely as well. They can smell a rat whenever they, you know, whenever their nostrils flare up and it's just right there. They know that there's trash out there, and they knew that this person was trash. But that's the problem. That's honestly the problem. That's the one big reason I have to really hate you, dejected assholes. Because it's not so much that these good people are uh, like sixty to seventy percent. These good juggalos. No, 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 no. I'd say about 90% of you are these people that I talked about earlier. 90% of you are the tubby people that have the guys that are either way too skinny or way too fat, that are missing teeth, that have glasses, that are just absolutely monotonous looking. You live in trailer parks, you're proud of it. You drive beat up cars, you're proud of it. You drink Fago and you spray it everywhere, you're proud of it. You know, it, you, you take exactly what you see and what you perceive and you translate it into your everyday life as though that's something to, 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 to be a part of. This is something that you want. This is all that you want out of, out of your life. That's why I posed the question a couple years ago. Is there a juggalo out there that's done something good for society? And I got a lot of great comments of people saying that they did. And that's good. That's good. It means that I'm an asshole. And I admit it. But let me tell you. It's a minority. It's a minority. A lot of the people that you're going to see, literally, literally, people say I live in my mother's basement. I'll take you on a tour if you want. Because this sure as hell ain't no basement. But these are people that are literally living in basements. People are living anywhere that they can. Why? Because they don't want to do anything with themselves. These are people that, like I said, embrace living in trailers. These are people that are the... They, they, they can't take it. Whenever they're online, somebody disses what they like. They have to go, fuck you. They have to do the death threats like I'm going to get. And I'm expecting them. I can't wait. Why? Why can't I wait? Because you're watching it, man. You may call this free publicity. This You may call this more juggalo hate. Blah, 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 blah. The fact is, is that you're not helping yourselves. It's true. And let me tell you, with the lifestyle that you're leading, you're not mirroring yourselves over Shaggy 2 Dope and Violent J. You're modeling yourselves after Juggalo Jenny, and that's just sad. That's just fucking sad. That's pathetic. So once again, I'm going to say this real nice and easy. If you're a music fan out there, you like rap, you don't like Eminem, you don't like Kid Rock, ICP might be up your alley. Just don't get caught up in the useless counterculture that its fans will try to suck you into. The bad ones, that is. The 90%. The 10% of the good fans, if you're able to find them, if you're able to stick with them, go for it. Because, hey, these guys are self-made millionaires. 
These guys are able to do something that they love every single day. And these are people that could easily launch a chain of ICP burger joints and would be successful. So, hey, more power to them. As individuals, i got to give them props. Why? Because of what they stand for whenever it came to that Juggalo Jenny controversy. But if you let yourself get sucked into this mindless group of fucks, these ignorant 90, you know, 10 per, the 90%, uh, the Juggalo assholes, the, the, the asshole nation, so to speak, well, enjoy living life in the lower class, in the poor class, in the shameless class, because that's all the more than you could ever, I guess, be in this life. Because that's the ceiling. That's as far high as you go. Make the right choice if you're going to go with this band.